What is that foul stench? Oh, that. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Shelf Space. I'm your host, Rod Dimus 13 And today we are looking at the Terracon Blot. A foul-smelling monster from Cybertron. Let's take a quick look at him as he is trapped inside his prison. We have his name and Transformers and lovely artwork of the foul beast. Molded into the plastic of the bubble is symbols for the different primes. Bioinformation and pictures of all the things he can do. Other Titan Masters that are sold separately. How devious. <laughs> and on the side, a preview of what is yet to come. Let's free this beast and see what he's all about. And here's the foul-smelling creature himself. And I must say, he actually looks quite impressive. Though I always pictured him being a little bit bulkier than this, but that's simply because of how his Generation 1 toy looked. Articulation-wise, his head can rotate around and is on a bald socket joint that allows for a little bit of movement, but not much. You could use the combiner port to get a little bit more rotation, but I wouldn't. Arm is on a ball joint at the shoulder, as well as a little bit of a joint to allow for some movement up this way, but that is mainly for transformation. Elbow is ball socket joint, single jointed, allowing for movement this way and that. And there is a bit of a wrist joint, but again, only for transformation. Though if you want, you could do this and use his beast mode arms on his regular arms. Legs, again, ball socket joint, allow for full movement up and back. Knee is single jointed, only allowing for a 90 degree bend, and there is no ankle articulation. He can do, can't can do a full split, but that's somewhat impressive. Accessories include this hand armor weapon. If you want, you can equip it like this. But it looks somewhat ridiculous, so I wouldn't recommend it. There is a little tiny gun in there, which he can hold if you want. And he can go pew 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 pew. It's pathetic looking though, so I wouldn't recommend that either. Put that back in place. And you could also equip it on his hand if you want and have it and use it as some sort of bludgeoning weapon or claw-like weapon. Or you can toss it aside. He also comes with a dark purple weapon, a blaster of some sort, that he can hold quite nicely. Now, let's get him into his more monstrous form. We'll start off by removing this and moving it up and over, bringing out his beast form head. We can then go ahead and transform his arms. Then we will snap his legs together and unpeg these. We'll then rotate everything around. Flipping that up. And you will see that there are pegs here and holes there. 
So everything fits into place. You can then bring the feet down into position. And there we are. It's a very squat form, but it adds a certain bulkiness to him that I greatly appreciate. You can take his rifle weapon and plug it in up here. And you can even take this and plug it into the back. And it sort of approximates the backpack weapon that he had in his Generation 1 form. A detail that I most appreciate. Articulation-wise is similar to that of his robot mode. His arms share the same articulation, though are somewhat hampered by the front of the monster head and chest. Legs are on a ball socket joint, but there is no knee this time. You're, but there is a ratcheted ankle, but it only goes back so far. And interestingly enough, there is jointing and part separation for a jaw. But it doesn't seem to really be designed for it anymore. You can just barely open it and that's about it. It's somewhat disappointing. Overall, I'd say I'm impressed with this figure, but perhaps it's because I have a soft spot, if you will, for this disgusting, foul-smelling creature. But if you can find it, I would recommend it. Everybody needs a little blot in their army sometimes. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring the bell, Go to our storefront and buy shirts for shelf space and all of that stuff. And I will see you the next time you invade my shelf space. <laughs> hey, did I hear you reviewing Blood out there without me? Oh man. Uh, he's like one of my favorite guys from G1. It was one of the first Transformers I ever got. Let me out of here.